There is a new strain tonight in the so-called special relationship between the U.S. and Great Britain. It involves a defiant move by the British to use a controversial Chinese company as a bridge to a new era of technology. Correspondent Jillian Turner explains why the U.S. is so adamantly against that decision. Senators on both sides of the aisle today slamming the British government's decision to allow Chinese telecom giant Huawei to help build Britain's next generation 5G network. Democrats warning the Chinese-owned company presents a direct threat to America and its allies. I don't think there is an issue that has broader bipartisan support than the recognition that Huawei has been and will continue to be a national security threat. I'm deeply alarmed and concerned. Republicans like Tom Cotton going a step further, warning the Chinese Communist Party will now have a foothold to conduct pervasive espionage on British society. Prime Minister Boris Johnson's decision to welcome Huawei comes after a year-long campaign by the White House to get the U.K. to follow America's lead and ban Chinese equipment. Sources tell Fox News President Trump's bitterly disappointed and has no plans to drop the issue, saying he'll continue to warn about Huawei's threat to national security. But today, Britain's foreign secretary dismissed Washington's alarm and sought to reassure rattled U.S. lawmakers, calling for President Trump to reconsider the very special intelligence sharing relationship. We would never take decisions that threaten our national security or the security of our Five Eyes partners. Huawei executives say they're already operating in 170 countries with nearly 3 billion customers, but get the concern. We recognize there's still work to do on trust. They also insist their ties to the Communist Party aren't a problem. We can categorically say we do not take any orders from the Chinese state. Experts say British public opinion is turning against Huawei, and that could yet lead the government to reconsider. You will now see many other European governments following the British lead unless Boris Johnson decides to take a step back, think again, uh, and, and reverse what will, will be, I think, one of the most dangerous decisions uh, of his uh, premiership. Tonight, a British official tells Fox News the Trump administration has made their displeasure very clear and has also told them the restrictions they've put on Huawei equipment aren't nearly enough to make their 5G network safe. Brett? Big story. We'll follow. Jillian, thank you.